uh, just be a little quick film tonight. I've finished wiring up the first rotor. Um, I thought I'd explain how I did it in the end. Uh, these are the little rivets that I'm using and I discovered after the first few that I'd soldered in it's better to actually cut them down. Uh, cut a couple of millimeters off them and that achieves two things. One, it makes it easier to solder uh, I don't know if it's going to focus uh, solder a little pigtail wire to the end of the rivet and uh, what this lets me do is you have to do it very carefully so that you don't get a build-up of solder around the outside of the rivet. But by soldering a pigtail to it like this, what I can then do is poke it down through the, the, the top plate on the rotor and then basically route the wire to where it needs to go on the printed circuit board. And you can see... Uh, sort of in there, those first few rivets I didn't cut down and you can see it's very close to the pins. So the later ones I've been cutting down um, to make them less likely to short out. So I've measured all of this. Uh, there are no shorts in it. Probably what I'll do is um, really it needs like a conformal type coating on it, but since I don't have any of that, I think what I'll do is I will paint around the connections with some uh, clear nail varnish which works really well as a sort of insulator like that and I'm also hoping that'll help hold down some of these pins that keep wanting to pop up but you can see how the wiring is all around the outside there um, the first few wires are quite tricky because everything's flopping around but it gets more and more rigid and more solid as you add more wires the other thing is you have to make sure that you've got the the spacer in the middle there. Obviously you can't add that afterwards and the reason for that is this will all assemble into the rotor like this and then the idea is that the ring can just fit over the outside and then there's a top cover that goes on there. Um, I may end up needing to sand the edges of that smooth just to make sure the contacts are all very flat. But this cover should go on there. That will hold the ring captive. Um, that's what sort of locks it in place. But I don't want to do any of that until I've actually um, insulated around the wires. The other small detail that I hadn't really thought through is you can't poke the wires too far through the solder pads because I haven't made provision in the rotor to allow for those wires poking through. So what I've had to do is solder them in and then sort of push them down so they're more or less flush. And I think that'll still work. So if we line this up. So... actually a little bit tricky to kind of look and see which pin is which. That all fits together inside there. The pogo pins are poking out the back and I did make the the holes I think it was half a millimeter larger diameter so the heads of the pins are now not catching on the the, the holes in the rotor. Um, and I just have to hope that that's actually enough stick out on the pins. Um, it should be, but we'll see. Um, so that's actually quite a, a, a bit of a milestone if it works. Uh, the other problem I've got is I'm finding more and more of these rivets with the, the smaller head size. So I'm not sure I'm actually going to have enough rivets to, to do three rotors which is what I need to actually make this work so um, I've ordered some more I may end up having to wait until those arrive but I think that's pretty good progress for tonight I actually put this um, 
half-finished rotor in the machine just to see how things look like they were going to line up. And what I've discovered is um, I actually need the pogo pins to stick out probably another sixteenth of an inch, millimeter and a half, something like that. Um, I think I can modify this one by reprinting my little support, which is what I used to set the height of the pins. And I should just then be able to go through and carefully with the soldering iron get inside there and um, heat those up and push each of those pins down a little bit further. So I just need to make one of these uh, that's a little bit fatter. The other thing I did is had a go at fitting the top cover on there. And I did get it to fit, um, but it took a lot of force. Uh, the good thing is when it is in place, it holds all the rivets very nicely. But what I need to do is reprint this and probably make these holes oh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a millimeter larger diameter. And then it should just be a little bit easier to, um, to get that top cover in place. But I think that's probably enough for tonight.